Full House again, track number two, I'm really excited. Democratizing the magic of large language models. Our next guest is a professional translator, more or less, from business requirements to technical solutions. So, Jakub Augustin, he is a, a, a solution architect at Databricks, one of our sponsors, and he has a strong expertise in Apache, Spark, Hadoop, closed based data services. So, he is a deep tech guy who speaks the language of business. The floor is yours. Welcome. Thank you. So welcome, my name is Jakub, I work as a solutions architect for Databricks, and today we have a short session, we only have 10 minutes, so I wanted to pick an interesting topic for you guys, and I picked LLMs. Uh, I think I'm not the only one talking about LLMs at this conference, the amount of LLM talks is just staggering, and I think there is a good reason for that, because uh, we believe uh, LLMs are not just another marketing buzzword or, or you know, a current trend that will disappear in a couple of weeks. But we believe they are here to stay and they are actually a game changer. They, they are uh, to some once in a lifetime opportunity that are going to change the industries. And uh, actually what we see talking to our customers cross industries, uh, cross positions in an organization, everybody's talking about LLMs. So uh, <laughs> currently, currently they are omnipresent. And uh, in Databricks, one of our goals has always been democratizing data and AI, and AI making uh, data and AI accessible to everyone, contributing to open source community. And this brings me to Dolly. Uh, with Dolly, our goal was actually uh, the very same. We wanted to take this current trend that everybody is talking about uh, and make it accessible for everyone, uh, make it completely de democratized. Uh, when you talk about LLMs, they uh, produce incredible results. Uh, they are conversational. You, you, you can really use them for almost anything. But training your own LLM uh, for, for, for many people, it seems that you need millions of dollars to do that. You need thousands of hours of GPU-based machines in order to train them. You need the best professionals on the market that understand this, this magic behind. And what we wanted to show is that it's actually not the case, that, that we can find some smart ways around and make it, uh, make it accessible to anyone. So this brings me to Dolly. Uh, such, uh, Dolly the sheep, if you know, was the first cloned mammal. And Dolly the model is also a clone. Uh, we, uh, the first version of Dolly uh, was a clone of, of Stanford's uh, alpaca uh, model. We wanted to show how easy it is to train it. We only need actually $30 to train the first version of the model. Uh, and we were showing this to lots of our customers that they could use this model on their own. Uh, but uh, the problem with this data set was that it's not uh, available for commercial purposes. So we decided we are going to do Dolly uh, version 2.0. And this is actually based on uh, Euloiter AI's uh, Paitia model family. And this is something that we can uh, distribute freely. So all of our customers, but even, even anybody on the planet doesn't have to be our customer, can use Dolly as an example of how you can train and configure your own LLM. Uh, you basically, for that, we needed two things. So I already mentioned that we have a good uh, base model, which is the Pythia, but uh, you also need uh, a data set uh, to train your model. So it turns out you don't need a huge data set, but roughly you need at least 10 to 15,000 uh, questions and answers to make your model truly uh, con conversational. Uh, it's not super easy to get it, but uh, Databricks has already 5,000 employees, so, so we had this idea that if all of us would just produce three Q&As, then that's the way how, how we can get to, to 15,000. So th that's what we did, and we gathered around uh, 15,000 Q&As, uh, in a matter of, I think, days or a week, and we were able to, uh, to train Dolly. Uh, the Dolly uh, we have in, in, 
multiple versions, but the one we always talk about is the 12 billion uh, parameter model, uh, which exhibits very similar features uh, to, the, to the heavy hitters on the market, such as ChatGPT. But our goal was not to beat ChatGPT or to produce better model, but our goal was actually to, to build something accessible uh, to the public and something that, uh, something that we can share easily. So, what are the reasons why we are even doing that, why we are talking about self-hosted uh, open models? So first of all, what we see in our customer base that uh, people want to move quickly. Uh, they, they, they want to have a good time to market. They don't want to waste time with uh, training a very complex model. They don't want to waste time um, in, in, in getting the resources needed for that. They, they, they want just something that they can, they can use right now because they, they need the edge on the market. So, so one of, one of uh, the motivations here is that people need to act now. They don't want to wait for, for all the solutions uh, to be available. But uh, in combination with the second limitation, uh, not everybody can afford to use, uh, to use solutions that they don't own or they don't govern. So uh, the, the amount of control of the model is very important. Uh, also, you don't want to rely completely on, on something developed by a third party because there can always be an update, which is great for almost everyone, but is breaking your use case, for example. So you need, uh, you need a control over uh, how the model looks like, what it does, and, 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 and how you basically govern it. And lastly, you need your own data set, because all these, all these uh, models that everybody talk about, they are great at general conversation, but in a business you don't usually want that. You, you want the model to be aware of your situation, your data, uh, your documentation, for example. So you don't need to converse with it about the history of France, but uh, you are interested in your use case. So you need to be able to bring your own data to the model. And all of these together, if you combine it, this speaks for a good use case for a self-hosted, small, relatively easy to use, application, and this is exactly what we demonstrate with Dolly. So uh, to be perfectly honest with you, Dolly is not, not even, today is not considered not even the best model around. There are certainly better ones, but it was never our aim to, to, to have the best model on the market, but to have a reproducible pipeline end-to-end -to, -end to show you how you can do it on your own. So, so Dolly is not, not our product that we sell. Dolly is something like a glorified solution accelerator or a demo. Uh, that's open source and, and usable by everyone. So both uh, the base model and the training data set is now, now, now fully available for, 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 for anyone. Uh, it doesn't end with this. So, so in Databricks, we are aware of this trend, and we want to accelerate LLMs and make them omnipresent in our product. Uh, as you uh, may know, Databricks is about data and AI. We are a complete end-to-end -end data uh, platform, and we want LLMs to be omnipresent everywhere. So even if you are using SQL, even if you are just uh, coding something in Python, we want it uh, for you to be very easy to use LLMs, so we are plugging them uh, anywhere, basically, in our product. Uh, there are many open source models, so we are also working uh, on hosting these. So on Databricks, you can, you can train and host your own LLMs, uh, regardless of uh, what distribution they are, what model family they are, uh, whether they are running on GPUs or CPUs, uh, this is part of, of, of our offering. And uh, our vision is uh, to unify, let's say, old school data warehouses and, 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 and very modern data lakes and, and analytical platforms. And in combination, this is a, this is a lake house architecture. And we want LLMs to be part of the, of the overall, overall uh, architecture there. So this brings me to, to our lake house. And uh, we believe that uh, lake house is, is the best place for these LLMs to be and uh, to help across, across uh, various use cases and, uh, and, and, and disciplines on the field. And uh, yeah, so, so, so in summary, uh, uh, we, we are super happy to uh, talk more about Dolly at our, uh, at our boot. 
Uh, sadly, there will be no uh, space for questions today, but we are super happy to, to guide you through them uh, at our Databricks booth. Uh, we can show you the solution accelerator we built. So basically, that's, that's a guide for you how you can gather your own data. And uh, one of the great things with Dolly is that we show you, you, you don't even need to fine tune the model itself. There, there are very good ways uh, how you can just use prompt engineering to improve the model. So you can build on top of what's, what's already been built into the model without, without retraining the model. Uh, you can just uh, craft your own prompts, bring them in, improve the model that way, and that's, that's a very, very good uh, discipline to do. If you want to, of course, you have, because it's open source, uh, you, you can retrain it completely and, 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 and change how it works. So uh, happy to talk about it. And uh, one more thing I wanted to do is I wanted to invite you to our uh, Data and AI uh, Summit, which is our conference taking place actually next week. Uh, so, uh, if you can't join in person, which I guess is the case, feel free to join in virtually. It's a lot of uh, things are going to be shared. And if you can't make it then, we will have a world tour here in Zurich uh, in November. So, you are all invited there. Thank you very much. As mentioned, thank you. We don't have time for questions, but here is a data bottle for your data lake. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.